Well, hello there. Mark Risen Hopkins here, and uh, going to do a quick screencast uh, for uh, you Mashable readers on the brand new Google Chrome. Really good stuff. Uh, uh, I s last night I did a quick blog post indicating that I wasn't going to be particularly excited to see this, although I would be trying it out as soon as it came out, just because. As I said, I quoted or mangled a little bit of Winston Churchill saying, "Hey, you know, it's Firefox is the worst browser in the world, except for you know all the other ones." I think I found one that might be better. Google Chrome. First thing I want to start is memory management here. Now I've I've got three tabs open here, and uh, first thing you'll notice if you look at the uh, the task list is you've got a lot of processes that open up. Uh, one that seems to open up for every tab, and sometimes I'll even spawn another kind of rogue-looking process. I'm not sure exactly what that's about, but what we've got is, as I found out when I compared it to Firefox, is a about 80% less memory usage tab for tab. Um, and I, at this point, I've had this browser open about two hours, about an hour and a half, two hours, somewhere in there, and there is no bloat. In fact. If this this one had gone up, this was my Gmail window right here, this 33 megabyte memory item, uh, had gone up about 4 megabytes and then just dropped back down when I started using it again, which was interesting. Uh, so, I mean, it there is, it's, it's, it's very memory efficient and it shows in how rapidly stuff pops up. I've, I've preloaded the tabs here because I, uh, with the screencast offer, running it slows down my machine uh, quite considerably but as you can see I'm, I'm switching uh, between news stories here and it's there's no delay uh, unlike the delay that, that exists in Safari which is also based off the WebKit code base um, there is uh, there's Gmail here now, there is one little quirk with Gmail this is odd that this happens here but uh, I found that with some of the uh, the keyboard shortcuts there is a a bit of uh, a delay not delay excuse me uh, some, some mangling of uh, of the screen uh, you push certain keyboard shortcuts and it'll just scroll the whole screen not text but like the whole application just kind of off screen I haven't really duplicated it yet but it seems to happen whenever I try to tab Let's see if I can do it here. I don't know what I just did there, but uh, it seems to happen there when I went, whenever I have between open the chat windows. Uh, and of course, here's Mashable and Winster Stephen Hodson here. I think this quote here sort of says it all. Uh, he 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 says he could be going to hell now. He's gonna have to turn in his crank card because he loves Google Chrome so much. <laughs> because I really like how that works. Oh, I'm really going to help. Anyway, uh, the, uh, okay, I showed you the memory management. I showed you uh, kind of the speed of the application. Let me load out the display here for you some memory. The, uh, the this is the pop-up. Uh, I think this is in some of the screenshots. Basically, these are favorites well, not favorites, most frequently visited sites slash history with thumbnails. That's basically the idea here. Uh, you can click on any of these here and it'll take you right back in. Uh, the authentication most closely, closely represents or, or, or resembles Firefox. It's got that little, uh, that little window that slides down whenever you, you uh, log into the site that says, do you want to remember the password or not uh, for this site? It's Twitter down. <laughs> it's responding kind of slowly. Uh, let's see. Before that pops up, let me show you some of these options here. Uh, it doesn't have the Alt option. Uh, for for your pull down menus, you've got these two buttons here. So you got this one that looks like a page, and the one that looks like a a, a, a wrench. And, you, know, you do your new tab, new window, uh, new incognito window. Um, you've got your find options, print, set your zooming. 
if you want. Uh, make that back to uh, normal person size. And uh, you've got some developer options, basically. That's just a fancy name for viewing the source. Um, and over here, uh, you've got your bookmarks bar, which you can turn on and off. Which I don't have any bookmarks. I did not import anything from my other browsers. Uh, your history, which is this site. This. Actually, this is a slightly different thing. This is a more detailed history. Recl and you notice it kind of closely resembles the, uh, the the Google history that uh, if you have your Google account and Google toolbar set up, that it logs on the server. Uh, it's all in the browser as opposed to uh, kind of a file option thing like you see in Firefox and, uh, uh, and Explore. Uh, and your ballot and your options. Your options are actually pretty skimpy at the moment. Not a lot there. Uh, you got your basics, setting your home page. Uh, you can open multiple tabs to start up. Um, what you want to show up under whenever you do a new tab. Which default, they even offer the option to set a different search engine. Uh, as your default search engine, which is kind of nice of them, I thought. Um, you've got your minor tweaks, where you want to download your files to, uh, how you want to save your passwords, uh, default fonts, and that sort of mess, and uh, what they're calling under the hood advanced options. You know, setting a proxy server, uh, sending error reports, that sort of stuff, how you want your error pages to load up, all that mess. Pretty basic. I mean, it's not like the, the 15 pages of options you see in Firefox or Explorer, but uh, it gets the job done. So, I mean, that, that's the basics here. Here is the big kicker, though. I'm going to load up the Mashable WordPress admin real quick because this was the deal breaker for me uh, when it came to Safari. Uh, the problem with that was that whenever you were in WordPress, and this is an error or kind of a, a, a quirk that I verified happens with uh, other folks, not just me and my, my crappy machine, uh, out was that uh, is, is that in, in, uh, in Safari, it was randomly uh, truncating certain uh, certain parts, uh, certain like input fields, doesn't look like uh, it's going to pull up now with this uh, screen cap software going, but I'll just describe it to you. Whenever you type stuff into the, uh, the where you set the URL for the blog post, and whenever you uh, write directly into the editor window, uh, it was seen that Safari would randomly insert paragraph tags, truncate the last letter, just do all kinds of quirky formatting things, and uh, I found that with this, I can duplicate that uh, error not at all. It, it functions completely as uh, as it should. So uh, I can say that this is uh, definitely a step up over any other browser out there on the market. Definitely worth trying out. Uh, give it a shot. I think you'll be pretty pleased with it. That's it. If you have any questions, comments, or other things you want me to uh, show you uh, about Google Chrome, let us know down in the comments and we'll see what we can add on to this post.